If you're looking for a complex, spectacular and easy to learn upper body exercise to build strength and size, then the pullover is a great choice. This exercise is a good demonstration of high level body control since you need to move your whole body weight, take your center of mass over the bar. We could say that you need to put your center of mass on a higher shelf. The pullover is a good and easier way to get above the bar compared to the muscle up. It's easier to master and has unique benefits. It works the back, the arm flexors and core a lot in the pulling phase and the chest, shoulders and triceps also take their part when you get into the support. Because of the transition over the bar, you get a more complex pulling load, you not only have to pull vertically because your trunk goes through the horizontal position. If done with straight body position, the legs get even more intensive load. You can do pullover with underhand and overhand grip, from passive hang and from support. Besides that, it can be done on the rings as well, but that's a more advanced version that I talk about in another video. I will put this exercise to a high-end beginner and low-end intermediate level. As I said, it's a good option before the muscle up if you want to get above the bar and do deep stair so you can do a whole upper body push-pull workout with using a single bar. There are prerequisites that you should not skip because without them it's gonna be a struggle. Let's see what you need to do before you start. On the prehab level, the grip strength, proper scapular stability and core strength, but as always, I suggest to prepare your body with a complete system so you can hit more at once. I've already made videos about these areas that you can find on the channel or the complete program and the follow along style prehab routine on the link below. From the basics, I recommend all the classic exercises since in this exercise you'll use your pulling, pushing structure and core as well. So the push-ups, inverted rows, dips, pull-ups and leg raises are all prerequisites. To put it simple, if you can do at least 5 proper pull-ups and toes to bar leg raises, you have the strength and the pullover will only depend on the technique. There are several progressions to make you stronger for the pullover, but as I've mentioned, the proper pull-ups and leg raises are more than enough for this move. Basically, you just need to connect these two and do the technique right. The most flawless technique looks the following. You need to do a pull-up and a leg raise at the same time and get your legs and hips over the bar while you lean back with your upper body. Basically, your upper body and hips need to switch places when viewed from the side. If you do this with the right momentum and rhythm, your legs and hips will get over the bar, you can pull the bar to your waistline and thanks to the weight of your legs and the upper body extension you need to do, you will turn above the bar. The point is to switch the place of your hips and upper body like a seesaw. To be able to learn this technique, let's see the gymnastics approach. First of all, the simplest way to try the movement if you do it reverse and do some negatives. Like this, you can try where the bar should be at your hips and we'll have a clue how this movement will be reversed. Find a lower bar where you can jump up to straight arm support, then bend your arms, lean forward, place the bar anywhere between your belly button and hips, then slowly roll forward and lower to passive hang. The more controlled you do this movement, the more you can benefit from the muscle memory when you will do the concentric phase. If you got this move and do it with confidence, you can move on. The second step is to do pullover kickups. For this, you will need a lower bar as well to be able to jump up. Stand to the bar in medium split, grab the bar in shoulder width or a little bit wider overhand grip, then swing one of your legs forward like you want to kick a ball. While keeping your arms tight and bent ready for the pull, start to lean back with your upper body and jump up from the other leg. Drive your feet and hips over the bar while pulling strongly with your arms and lean back with your upper body. Close your legs together as quick as you can and drive your hips to the bar. The best if you can ask someone to spot you on the lower back and push your hips over the bar. This spotter can also help you to push your shoulder for the easier turn, also stopping your upper body after the turn to not fall down. This is an easy and effective way to feel the right technique. If you got this and feel the technique, you can ask for the same help with the pullover without jumping. Spotting is the best and fastest way to learn this move. In gymnastics, Coaches spot a lot to gymnasts, this is a good way to learn new techniques. In case you don't have a spotter, you can practice how to switch the position of your upper body and hips. Pull up in half range of motion, then start a leg raise as your legs are coming up, lean back with your upper body, keeping your arms bent and swing like this back and forth. This movement is similar to the ice cream maker, but you need to keep your arms bent and try to elevate your hips to the bar. 
If you feel the rhythm of the swing, you can try to push your hips even more and more above the bar until you eventually can roll forward. This is a good preparation exercise for the transition, but in my opinion, it takes a lot more energy than the pullover itself. But it helps if you don't have a spotter. You should do this exercise only until you get used to the technique and be able to do the transition. If you completed the previous progressions or had a spotter and feel the technique, you should be able to do pullovers. In the beginning, you might stuck on the bar and can't roll over. If this happens, you just need to extend your upper body as you would do in a superman and you should get over it or just come down and try it again after some rest. The point is to do the pullover in one continuous movement. If you can do it with confidence, you can do some more reps or do some dips on the top or you can do more pullovers from the support. To do that, bend your arms, descend to the lower end point of the dip, then start to raise your legs as you lean back with your upper body and from there is the same technique you learned. You can do 5 to even 10 reps in a set. If you've mastered the pullover and you feel like you're ready for the muscle up, check out my videos about it on the channel. And if you want to build up a shredded physique like gymnast step from zero, following my thorough system specifically, just click the link below, sign up today and get access to all of my programs, tutorials, series and much more. I can also help you personally in the private community in the live Q&As. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did so, please like, share and write a comment what do you want to see in the next videos. If you don't want to miss the new videos, subscribe with notifications on and see you next week in the next video.